Yo, Kenny, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you say, um, when I say bring the pressure, mm -hmm. so you, you say come play my game, I'll test you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> What's that for? What's it for? What's it for? Come on. It's a, it's a song by Prodigy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know it's a song by Prodigy, but what's it for? <laughs> what are you using? What are you using it for? You're you the just... first black English guy I've ever met in my life, <laughs> and you're now my you're now my new best friend. So, <laughs> so, so, so say that. So, what do you want me to say? Sorry. You got. I would say, bring the pressure. You got to say, come play my game. I'll test you. All right. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Yeah. Bring the pressure. Come play the game and I'll test you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm a fire starter. Yeah. <laughs> Twisted fire starter. Yeah. Get it, kids, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Number one in 1996. <laughs> All right, let's do this ish. Well, enough is enough, and it's time for a change. Are you ready? It is Sunday, and you're listening to the Sunday Segway Wrestling Podcast. And give me a hell yeah! And get some money! Oh yeah! With Kenny Killer. Hey yo! We're in the big D tonight, baby! And we are live! Woo! I'm the Gaudem Sugar Shoe. The best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be! Come dance the bottom line! Oh, son of a bitch, if you just heard the glass shatter, that's right, it's the Sunday Segway Wrestling Podcast, episode 165, and I am the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour, the one man with no Instagram, Kenny Killer. Now, we have a very special episode today because I have my partners in crime from across the pond, that's right, it's none other than Big Slam Nation's own, we have Billy Ray Valentine, we have Big Ray, and we also have the debutant. 8-Track Brown. How you doing, fellas? Billy Ray, how you doing? What's going on, brother, man? Thanks for having me on the show. And I, I, I was able to, to, to drag in the catch with me, you know what I mean? I, I made a couple of phone calls, and, and this asshole, 8-Track Brown, actually got up out of bed. It, it's amazing that he's here today. So I, I, I'm thanking God for that. What's up? Man, What's... I'm fighting the cold, and I'm fighting sleep. <laughs> I, was, I was still up, and I was walking the dogs. So I was like, you know what? Let me just do this. <laughs> <laughs> We can go to sleep. Right, well, we're glad to have sleep you here, man. <laughs> I don't know. Well, people probably won't know, but before this, um, Eight Track wanted me to spit some, um, spit some prodigy bars. So I'll put it in before, you know, before the show actually starts, so everyone can hear that ish. Awesome. But, we <laughs> but we have the return of the Messiah. That's right. It is a Big Ray. What's happening, Big Ray? Oh the Messiah. My, oh my God, <laughs> the, the Messiah. Messiah. Let me just, let me let me just tell you first and foremost, the only Messiah is the King of Kings, Jesus Christ. But on another note, I am very humbled by your love, my brother. It's great to be back here, all the way from the UK. My brother Kenny King or Kenny King, <laughs> Kenny <laughs> Killer. You, hey, Billy Ray, you you saw the message on on um yeah on <laughs> yeah, <I did. laughs> Kenny Killer. Is that Kenny King? Is that Kenny King? Yo, do you oh, yeah, get yeah, do, do, do you do you get that a lot? Is it, do all all relatively good looking black men look the same? Is that what it is? Yeah, I must be. Must. Why, must. why, why are you blatantly hitting on Kenny? <laughs> I ain't hitting on Kenny, man. I'm secure that's what enough to. That's what I'm sounds like to me. I am secure enough to let this brother know that he is a handsome man. I, I can see the look in your eyes. That's why I'm asking. You know, everybody else can't see it, but I can see it. You're at him in a special type of way right now, man. And what kind of look is that? And number one, how, what, you know, you're a piece of garbage trashing <laughs> one of your closest friends right off the bat. <laughs> you piece when, of garbage. I love that. I love that. Hey, listen, seconds. You know that real American shit. Like, you're a piece of garbage, man. You know that shit. Piece of trash. <laughs> you're a piece of trash. You, you trash. Fag. <laughs> you fag. What, cigarette? And anyway. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, right, well, we're going to kick straight into stuff because we got a lot of ish to do. So, um, Sunday Segway Wrestling Podcast, make sure you check us out on our website, the Sunday Segway Podcast, dot wix dot com forward slash Sunday Segway. Also, make sure you check us out on um, Twitter, the Sunday Segway Segway, spelled S E G U E. You can follow me, Kinney Killer, K I L L A. Also, like us on Facebook, um, subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, we're also on Podomatic Stitcher. And don't forget to download that double twist player player. Right, shout outs. Um, Billy Ray, any shout outs? No, I have no one to shout out but myself. 
Billy Ray Valentine, not my brother, not anyone else, not a track brown, not Big Ray. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Billy Ray Valentine, BRV, Panda Friend 3000. You know what I'm saying? The Jade Panda in the house. I'm picking myself up today. Uh, Big Ray, any shouts? Once again, Billy Ray Valentine is a piece of garbage. Yes. <laughs> but, I'm gonna give a sh- <laughs> but I'm going to give a shout out to my cohorts out there, my Big Slam Nation brothers, who I got a couple of knuckleheads right here. But I also want to give a shout out to the wrestling chick that is Mimi. Follow her on Twitter at I am Mimi Shells. We have a new podcast out there, Big Ray and the Wrestling Chick. But, you know, that's the story for at the end of this thing. So why don't we, uh, why don't we move on from there, brother? Nice. All right. Um, A-Track, any shout outs? Yeah, I got some shout outs. I do, I do, I do. Hold on for a second here. Let me get myself situated real quick. What so have I, you done? Shouts out. <laughs> right. There we go. So all my peoples in Queens, you don't stop. So all my peoples in the hills, you don't stop. And to my man Lars Professor, you don't stop. And because ladies first, you don't stop. And all my boys in the hills, you don't stop. And my man Billy Ray sitting there, you don't stop. And last not least, on the sure shot. It's the Zulu Nation, except for Africa Bambada. Yeah, and Africa Bambada. <laughs> that was sick. That was sick. That was sick. Um, I want to give a shout out to our business partners in crime, Max Wrestling Magazine. Make sure you check out the Max Wrestling Podcast. Um, obviously, you would have listened to them if you're listening to us right here on VOC Nation and Swerve Talk. Um, also want to give a shout out to Attitude of Aggression Podcast. You what? Um, gaming uh, show on YouTube. And we'll give a shout out to our sponsors over at Custom Wrestling Figures, where you can get custom-made wrestling figures of all your favorite wrestlers. Um, You can get Alpha Female, you can get Adam Cole, you can get Adam Page, man, you can get Tiger Mask if you want to. You can also get custom-made wrestling figure of yourself. So make sure you check them out, go onto Twitter and find them, please make sure you give the promo code Sunday Segway. Right, so let's kick into things. The main question of the show today, who will win Money in the Bank? Now, I believe we have eight participants, we've got seven so far. Um, Billy Ray, run through the seven if you know it off the top of your head. Seven yep. participants. Seven oh, okay. participants if you can run it off the top of your head. We've got Kevin Owens. Any more? I don't know. Go ahead. I know Kevin Owens is in. I know uh, Cesaro is in. Yep. Um, and that's about all I know. That's... We've got Tell Jer- me anybody else. Jericho. Uh, Sami Zayn, is he in? Sami Zayn, yeah. Sami Zayn. Uh, Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose, Cesaro, and uh, Del Rio. Del Rio, bang. So we got one more. Um, do we know who the last one is? Who could Who's it be? Who's the last one? Who could John it be? Cena. John Cena. John oh my Cena. God. Oh, you, you you need to implement one of those. And his name is John Cena. <laughs> yeah, I need to put that shit in there. Um, John Cena. That's gonna be an interesting situation. Um. But John Cena, that would be, yeah, that would be interesting. Who else would it be unless they're going to try and throw him Randy Orton for some dumb reason? Um, but nevertheless, um, we've got eight participants. They're going to have Roman Reigns be in it. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, <laughs> he's going to cash in on himself and then he's going <laughs> to kick himself. <laughs> now, that, that wouldn't surprise me, WWE putting that shit out. That would not surprise me. Um, but, um, yeah, Big Ray, who do you reckon is going to win Money in the Bank? Oh, my God. Um... I don't know, man. But Money in the Bank, that's that's this that's coming right now, right? That's yeah. that's uh, paper, that that's before the brand split, right? Yeah. <sighs> wow. Um I mean who I wanna win and who will win. I mean, I would love to see Kevin Owens win to to just shake things up. Who I think is gonna win. Who's the seventh guy? Uh, John Cena. I'll tell you what, if John Cena is the seventh guy, John Cena is going to damn well sure win that, I think. Oh, good. I think it's going to happen, dude. I'm not going to take anyone until I hear that John Cena is out of this. If I I get a confirmation that John Cena is out, Mm-hmm. Then, then I'll make a pick, and it'll it should be Kevin Owens, like Ray said. But it's, it's, the John, then, it's the John Cena factor, dude. Uh, I understand uh, yeah. what you mean. Until then, it is John Cena, and John Cena will be the Money in the Bank winner, and that's it. Okay, eight track. Give me your thoughts on that. Uh, I, I I personally think I'm I'm going with uh, Owens, even if John Cena is in it. I think Owens is going to win. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the thing. Uh, Money in the Bank. It tends to go with a heel, and the the heels tend to carry the briefcase better. It'll be It'll be a, a different dynamic if a heel, if a face, sorry, carries that briefcase. Out of all the heels there, it looks like obviously Owens would probably be the best um, bet to hold that briefcase as a heel. Now, a heel Owens holding that briefcase, that would be A plus TV. Don't you agree? Well, from what I'm reading right now on uh, the Bleacher Report, they're saying uh, the, um, 
Bray Wyatt is set to be on there. I don't know how true that is um, or if he's still hurt. So who knows? But um, it's like you said, yeah, the heels always are the uh, usually the carriers of the briefcase. And it's all about, I guess, if you see guys like John Cena being a two-time winner. Has it been a two-time winner? Has that been one? Punk? No, no, no. no, 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 no. Punk won twice, didn't he? Punk won twice, and also, if I'm correct, I believe Edge held that twice as well. No, 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 no. Edge won once. I'm sorry. He won once, and then I believe he won a match because Kennedy had won. And then Edge got that, got the nah, briefcase somehow. Nah, he said he won it. Didn't, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, maybe it was Edge. I thought no, it was Edge. Edge, it. Edge absolutely had it twice. Are you sure? Are you Positive. sure? Can we get a I'm... fact check? Can we get a fact check, please? <laughs> let, me, let, let me work on that while you guys talk. I'll get a fact check. All right, nope. cool. Um, well, Money in the Bank, interesting concept, obviously. And now we've got the WWE Women's um, Championship. And word on the grapevine is that WWE are going to do a Women's Money in the Bank. Um, Billy Ray, I'm sorry, uh, Big Ray, do you feel that will be beneficial to the it Women's Division? It was Edge. It was Edge. I just checked. It was Edge. Sorry. <laughs> but did he win it twice? That's the key. That's the question. Oh, that was the key. Oh, that That's was the, the question. question. Did he win it twice? What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> did, did, he, did he win it twice? I lost you guys. Did he win it twice? He's, he's uh, looking. He's looking. He's looking. A, a track pointed out the obvious and said he won it once, which is not even a question. <laughs> Dude, you guys don't have Siri or something? Dude, just ask Siri who won the money in the bank twice. Ask right, Siri. Put it to let's, the microphone. Let's, let's see. Let's see what Siri says. Yeah, put it to the microphone. Say, Siri, um, pretty please, can you tell me? Um, did Edge win Money in the Bank twice? Oh, she, she didn't get, hold on. Uh, Siri, who won? <laughs> you, really? you, don't even want to, you don't even want to see what Siri is saying right now. Well, hold Siri on. is like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't kiss your mother with that mouth. That's exactly what she said. No, she did not. Siri, who won Money in the Bank twice in a row? Let me check that. Here's what I found on the web for Money in the bank twice in a row. What do we got? Siri, who won money in the bank twice? She's not she's not gonna tell you, you gotta read it. Oh, Check is that okay? I All right, here we go. Because I said twice in a row. In the bank twice. Uh let's see here. Wait, why does Siri sound like China? I don't know. <laughs> maybe she took or maybe her ghost took over my phone. <laughs> by see, the way, I, by the way, listen, listen, Siri sucks. I have Android. By the way, I was correct. Um, I think, uh, let me see. Uh, CM Punk. Was, uh, okay, so Mr. Kennedy did win. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, so here we go. 2005, Edge was your first winner. 2006, it was... Uh, uh, so it was Edge. Edge? I think it was Edge. Edge won it Edge twice. Edge won twice because he beat Ken Anderson. So there you go. There All you right. go. Let's I mean, go. Move okay, forward. let's move forward. Anyway. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. This is, this is... No, 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 because I, I got to let him know. I Listen, gotta, you I can't gotta... read, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> it's not even that. Siri, Siri, you didn't help me at all. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> oh. There you go. There you go. She's, she, she, she's throwing shade, man. She's throwing shade. That's Just what like she did. Typical fucking woman. <laughs> um, Big Ray, I'll, I'll spot that question to you again. So, yeah, buddy. Ask me the question. Um, women's money in the bank. It looks like WWE are thinking about doing that. Would that be beneficial to the winning, women's division, having the women's money in the bank? Would you like to see that? Absolutely, fucking lutely especially with the women that they have on the roster right now. Um, who wouldn't want to see Paige, uh, Sasha Banks, um, Charlotte, all those amazing... Oh, and what's this young lady, the Irish young lady? Um, oh, yeah, the last kicker. The last kicker. What's her name again? I, I, I lost her name. Yeah, Becky Lynch. Becky, Becky Lynch. I mean, can you imagine those those girls in a, in a ladder match? They'd kick ass, man. She's very hot, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She is. She is, like, like smoking hot, right? Yeah, yeah, she really is. I think so. <laughs> Ajax like nada, nah. She, she's she's okay. She I. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> I've I've seen better, but not many. Not many. <laughs> not many. <laughs> oh good. Okay, so um, let's move on to the brand split. Um, um, Billy Ray, let's move wait, on. Wait, to wait, 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 wait. That that I just want to say that uh, women's money in the bank is a very bad idea. It's an all awesome those, idea, bro. All those women are gonna get hurt. Okay, <laughs> all those women are gonna get hurt yeah, and, unless. Right. Unless they lower it, and this is something that I heard on, on, on somebody else's podcast, unless they would lower the, the, the belt or the briefcase, excuse me, and have a short ladder or whatever, if you have it at the same height as the men, 
every single one of those women are going to get hurt. We've never had, we've never had a women's ladder match, have we? No, we never Not had. In WWE. So, so you're saying we should WNBA the thing and bring the rim down? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, and, and and by the and by the way, gentlemen, a hundred percent correct from WWE.com. Edge did win the contract from Mr. Kennedy, so he did hold that briefcase twice. Let it we go. <laughs> Let it go. Okay. Okay. There you go. We fact check that. Um. Yeah. Billy Ray. Um. The brand split. All right. The brand split. Now, mm-hmm. this will be interesting concept. I mean, my phone was blowing up when I found out that was going down. Um. Do you think that um this will be beneficial to not only the WWE superstars on both Raw and SmackDown, but also the NXT superstars? Man, it could be. It could be beneficial to them, but it's also a double-edged sword. Like, actually, you know what? If you're talking about just the superstars, then yeah, it is beneficial because it'll shine a light on guys that were cur- currently lost in the shuffle or that would have been lost in the shuffle, like a guy like a, like Neville or a guy like Apollo Crews will, will now have some purpose. You know, you can bring up a Samoa Joe. You can, you can give a contract to Eric Young because you need the talent. You know what I mean? So you can bring these people in, and they, and they may serve a purpose, and they might even actually, you know, become main eventers. Who, I mean, not Eric Young, but I'm talking about <laughs> other cats. You know, like, like um, when there was a brand split back in the day, you know, it was, uh, it was Eddie Guerrero that, that broke out from SmackDown. It was... Um, Rey Mysterio that broke out from SmackDown. Mm. All these Smackdown cats, six. yeah, they they became they became um, main eventers because of the brand split. You know, because if there wasn't a brand split, they probably wouldn't have had that light shined upon them. Now, if you're gonna talk about people, like if you're gonna talk about the people, man, that's that's five hours of wrestling to invest in from Monday night to Tuesday night. If you have that much time on your hands, you need to find a different hobby. Like to sit there in front of in front of this television and watch Raw and SmackDown back to back to back to back to back to back. That's freaking crazy. And I think it's a lot to ask of the WWE uh, uh faithful, the, the the WWE universe to sit there and watch five yeah five hours of. <laughs> well, imagine if there's a pay per view on Sunday. Yeah, and not, not only that, then NXT comes on on Wednesday. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that's a ridiculous amount of television to watch. Dude, man. That 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 is for a wrestling fan. That's like a dream come true. It's almost like living back in the Attitude Era days, but. I mean, I was, I've been talking about this. Dean Ambrose. Dude, I, I, was, I not, was, I, was, it, was I not just talking right now? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just noticed that. What did you oh say? My, what did you he, say? Now I, He's dressed like Dean Ambrose. <laughs> who is dressed like Dean? Me? Ray? <laughs> I actually am dressed like Dean Ambrose. He's got the jeans on and everything. I got the jeans. I got the black white beater. Oh, I'm sorry, the ribbed tank. <laughs> the fuck out of here. Let's be politically fucking, correct about that. Fucking about rip that, tank. To have an asylum match. <laughs> a least lockdown match. Yeah, he had one in his house. Right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. I, just, I, just, I just wanted to throw out really quickly. With all due respect to Cody Rhodes, I'd let his wife sit on my face. But go ahead. Oh, definitely. Oh, God. Well, you you were making a point, Billy Ray. You were making. A, I'm sorry, Big Ray. You were making a point. What the hell were we talking about now? This guy freaking threw me off. Broke <laughs> concentration. We're talking about the brand split. We were talking about the brand split. Um, all right, I pose, an, I pose a different question to you then, okay? Go ahead, go for it. Mm-hmm. Now, the last brand split, we had two titles, okay? We had two, um, we had the WWE um, Championship. We had the World Heavyweight Championship. We also had two separate tag team championships. Um, now, do we go back to that or do we have one main title? I'm going to tell you something that I, that I heard and I'm break it. I'm going to break it here then. Okay, because I'm going to break it also on, on Big Slam Nation, depending on which comes out first. Here's the deal. And I actually reached out to two separate people from two different parts of the United States who are who really, like, have good sources. There is a, I'll say, a 95% chance that SmackDown will have its own world title. And WWE has, um, from what I understand, there's a mold out there for the Winged Eagle belt with a new WWE logo. <laughs> Listen, I'm serious, and I'm, ser- I'm, that, I'm dead serious. If that, um, belt, if that belt comes out, jeez. Two, two people heard the exact same thing on different days, and I reached out to two, two separate people from two different sides of the coast. So I don't want to, you know, shout out exactly. One guy's from California, the other guy's from Chicago. I'll just leave it like that. Okay, cool. Hey, you know, if that if that belt comes out, it'll be, inter- it'll be interesting to see. What would, what would they call it an 8-track? What do you reckon they would call the second belt? I mean, I'll probably just call it the world title again. Who knows? Uh, maybe it'll just maybe they'll just call it the champ, the championship, uh, the WWE championship or whatever. At this point, you know, it's it'll it will be another a high mid card title, just like SmackDown was a high mid card show, just like the SmackDown Six were high mid carders, with the exception of Eddie Guerrero because he had the main belt. Uh, but um, 
you know, I I um, don't really see. It'll be good in the beginning. And then after a while, it probably won't be live anymore because Vince McMahon is not going to keep wanting to spend the money. <laughs> but uh, I don't really, I, like I said, I see it in the beginning being something. And then after a while, it'll trickle down to just being a second rate show like it is now. At the end of the day, I still won't be watching. Uh, I'll be watching Impact Wrestling as long as it's good, that is. Oh, uh, you know what? You know what, so, man? Um, two things. To, two things to piggyback on what you said, if you don't mind, Kenny. Yeah, go hey, for it. Listen, man. Uh, yeah, it's going to be excellent in the beginning. It's going to be awesome. People are going to be losing their minds. They're going to be like, wow, wrestling is back. It's not. It's not, okay? <laughs> no, no, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted, all right? First six months is probably going to be amazing. Maybe even a year. And then it's going to go back to status quo. Also, TNA needs to find some new hours in the United States, man. I don't know, I don't know how they, how they, where they air over there in England, if they air in England. I got no idea. What, but TNA? Yeah. Yeah, on Challenge. Yeah, they, they need to figure something out really quickly over here in the United oh, States. Oh, yes, they do. Because they, they're going to get buried real fast by one hour of boring SmackDown. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. Anyway, I don't think, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think SmackDown is going to be boring. Because from what I'm hearing also, they're going to have their own separate writers for the program. They're going to have their own storyline, their own type, their own championships. It's going to be a totally different show from what I understand than WWE Raw. The only crossover would be on a pay-per-view down the line. So who's to say that SmackDown is going to be boring? That's how it starts. I think it's going to be real boring after a while. And plus, it, unless it starts out with pay-per-views where where they're mixing stuff up for uh for for a while, and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, it's 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 going to be a SmackDown pay-per-view, a Raw pay-per-view, and then it's going to be a conjoined one at the major ones. You know, the in your house type shows, it'll be Raw, it'll be SmackDown, and then SummerSlam, it'll be both, and then eventually there'll be a war or something between <laughs> Stephanie and, and Shane because I want everybody to know this. This is about Stephanie and Shane. Absolutely. Once man. again, this ain't yeah. about the talent. Well, you know, the talent will shine, as Billy Ray say, yes, uh, says there will be some talent that will have the ability to shine depending on who they are, it, unless they put Cena on one and Roman on the other. But at the end of the day, this is still about Shane and Stephanie. And then Triple H will get into the mix. And then it will be uh, 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 a war within the company once again. But these are not the same writers, and it's going to be crap. Unless the NXT writers are doing it, I don't have any faith. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Well, I'm with you 100% on that. And not, not only that, you know what I mean? They need to stick to the brand split. And I don't have any faith that they're going to stick to it. I think very soon they're going to start um, having Raw people show up on SmackDown, and SmackDown people show up on Raw. And, and, and if they'll... anything, I'm sorry, if anything, it should be NXT people showing up. Oh, guys, yeah, guys, yeah. guys, 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 seriously, they, um, breaking news on WWE's app, um, they just uh, sent me a message, 10% off t-shirts in honor of Memorial Day, John Cena gear, $10. You're an asshole, anybody ever tell you well, that? I ain't buying a shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, already, I already got my AJ Styles gloves. I'm ah, like, nice! I already got my AJ Styles American <laughs> Grit is the greatest show of all time. Lies! They're telling <laughs> lies! That's what's happening, they're telling lies. Just all right. like the U.S. government, oh. Ray is telling lies. Anyway, go ahead, brother. Yeah, before before we go before we go into a break, all right, I got three questions, one for each of you, okay? And I want a quick answer. Right, so um Billy Ray first. Um Rawlings just returned, okay. Was it a mistake? So should he be a heel or a baby face? He should have absolutely been a baby face, one hundred percent. I mean, how do you get a guy that comes back with so much momentum, knowing that you're really lacking in baby faces, with the exception of AJ Styles and maybe Cesaro. Cesaro is like a mid card uh babyface right now. Dean Ambrose is bordering on the mid card to the main event babyface right now. He they can't give him the the push that he needs. AJ Styles is the only real babyface they have on the roster. Why would you not capitalize on this when when Seth Rollins returns and he has that babyface move set that people are just clamoring for? Capitalize on it and and and, and run with it. No. They want to stick with Roman Reigns because they want to cut off their nose to spike their face. That's what they want to do. They want to stick with this guy who is not at all a babyface. People hate him. They hate him. Trust me. Trust me. They hate Roman Reigns and the retarded Roman Empire. They hate him. Okay? So they <laughs> They won't go with him because they want to stick with him just because Vince McMahon is so damn stubborn. Seth Rollins should have been a face. He would have been went over huge. He would have sold a ton of merchandise, and he would have been the he. I think he still will be the de facto face of the WWE when this is all said and done. Like Shawn Michaels emerged in the nineties. 
Um, Big Ray. All right, your question. Cody Rhodes and Eden Styles. Obviously, mm. they you know the uh, husband and wife. They've left WWE. Cody, where could he go, or where will he end up? Do you reckon? Well, this is the thing about Cody Rhodes because he does own that Rhodes name. Am I correct, guys? Yeah, yeah. His last, his real he does. Name, he, he, he well, no, it's no, Reynolds. It's Reynolds. 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 But he, 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 the, the family does own the name. But anyway, um, he can go by Cody Rose. Cody Reynolds doesn't really make a difference. Um, Co- Cody, Cody can go anywhere Cody wants to go and be the world champion anywhere he wants to go. Um, if I were, you know, again, if I was Impact Wrestling, I'd open the books. If, if there are any books left to open, depending on the investors. I mean, let's just be real, man. It is what it is. But um, that would be, I would well, make that. Well, according to Dixie Carter, they got deals going on in India and in, and in the Middle East. Well, then listen, make them your Indian. going to get locked up for terrorism. <laughs> make them make your Indian champion. <laughs> Whatever, listen, um, make him your Indian uh, States Heritage Champion, whatever the fuck. It doesn't matter. Listen. Indian States Heritage. <laughs> listen, here's the deal. Cody Rhodes, Cody Rhodes will make money wherever he goes. And but I would love to see Cody Rhodes uh, on a smaller stage, maybe with his wife, along like uh, like Maria Canellis, um was with, was with uh, the Miracle, uh, Mike Bennett. Um, I think they can make an amazing tandem in our in Ring of Honor, man. Um, I don't I don't think he needs to go to Japan to make money, to be honest with you. So I see I see Cody Rhodes staying in the states. I think he'll wrestle for a short time, maybe in ROH, maybe he'll do run the Indies for a short time. I honestly eventually see him going back to WWE. I don't care what happens, what what anything is said. I think his lineage, his uh, his heritage, his lineage, you know, his lineage and his uh, his name. Don't laugh at me, Billy Ray Valentine, you idiot. Um, <laughs> you're the one with a fucking triangle with a fucking eye on it, on your baseball hat. Um, but you're my third yeah, eye, you idiot. Uh, uh, Illuminati. Yeah, your third eye. I got a third eye for you. I got a third leg. But um, <laughs> it is, isn't it? Um, but the fact is that Cody Rhodes will um will do very well for a long period of time and the guy is still is he in his 30s yet yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but he's he's in his very early 30s i'm assuming mm-hmm. 32 33 i think fact, somebody fact check let's fact check this um uh, yeah last time we did that that didn't go very well so let, come on next time we fact check right so we're gonna fact check this but while we're doing that um eight track i got your question um cody rose is 30 <laughs> okay Beautiful. Same age as me. Good, 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 good. <laughs> All right. Um, so your question, eight track, um, is Flair, Dana Brooke, in you know they kind of in and out, in and out. Who is the best to be with Charlotte, Flair or Dana Brooke? Flair. Flair. I mean, Dana Brooke, listen, I I think Dana Brooke is a pretty entertaining so far from what I've seen mm-hmm. on NXT and what she's done on Raw. Um. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't mind her at all. She's quite a looker, um, but uh, I think Flair was the better was the better uh, manager or associate or advocate, whatever you want to call it. And it's it's um, Monday was just so bad. It was just bad. I mean, I I, I dug what they were doing, mm. but just the execution of it was just bad. It was cringy and it was all, Flair was in rare form. Uh, Rick Flair, that is. Charlotte was just <laughs> Charlotte was just off point. She was nervous. It seemed. I think the crowd got to her. It was. It just didn't come off right. Um, I felt that they could have went about it in a better way. But it seems to me that the WWE just loves to embarrass people. Mm-hmm. That's that. Is, it's like you can't have this thing end in a in a in a way where she breaks away, or maybe Rick Flair brings in someone new. Like Bailey, maybe that's where they're going down the line. But at this point right now, it was like, like, can't you find a better way to do these things and always trying to like make it seem like embarrassing or shame? You know, no matter kayfabe or not, it's just like it was just bad. It was like, come on, man, you could have done this so differently and so much better. Whatever happens, this guy can fucking cry. This guy could just like he just cry cry on note like you mentioned his daughter he's like oh, meow, meow, meow. like he can he can, cry. He can cry. Why was he making cat noises, <laughs> dude? That was my rock cry. <laughs> um, yo yo hold on hold on hold on people people were putting that segment over like it was one of the greatest segments of all time. I thought, I mean I thought Ric Flair did a great job. Um, on that segment. Um, again, I agree with you, uh, A-Track Brown. I don't think it was that great a segment on Charlotte's behalf. But um, I think part of what made that believable, if, if, if you did believe in it, in that segment, was the fact that it, it was all true. 
And I think part of Ric Flair um, probably knows that, you know, he's, he's probably hurting inside. And that's why it's so easy for him to cry, like, when it comes to doing segments like that. So Charlotte's probably pointing out shit, and he's probably reliving um, shit in his mind, like, saying and to himself. And thinking about Reed. Absol- oh, my God, absolutely, dude, not being there, you know. Uh, anyway, it's just a really sucky thing all around. But he's there for her now, and sometimes that's all that counts. I don't know. My dad was always there for me. My mom was always there for me. So I can't speak. I don't know what that feels like. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go to a break and hear from our sponsors. They're not Sherry's Berries or DraftKings.com. It is um, a VOC Nation sponsor. So, and we'll be back with the NXT Fallout. So, don't you miss it. Live from the In the Room studios located in the Net Carrier and Cloud, this is the VOC Nation Radio Network. Hey everyone, it is your favorite knockout, Mickey James, and you're listening to the VOC Nation. Hey there, hi there, ho there. Thanks for coming on down. It's Save Wrestling, the podcast, and the business making town. I am your award winning hostess with the mostest, Shelly Funtime Martinez, and she is my co host, Dazzling Danielle. Woo! Hello out there. And together we are the Martinez Girls. Ha, 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 ha. You finally did it. And you can join us here Monday, 6 p.m. Eastern, on the VOC Nation as we say wrestling together, Danielle. Fighting Woo! crime. Woo! And we're back, people. Sunday Segway Wrestling Podcast, episode 165. It's your boy, Kenny Killer, out here with Billy Ray Valentine, Big Ray, and also 8-Track Brown. So let's do the damn thing. NXT Fallout. Did everyone watch NXT? I did not. I didn't have a I chance to. I was at work and I didn't. Nobody I just, watched yeah. NXT. Neither Nobody did I. Nobody watched NXT. Let, let, me, let, me, let, let me explain something to you right now. If you knew what I was doing last night, Billy Ray Valentine has an idea of what I was doing last night. You would excuse me, my friend. It has to do with, uh, let's just say, uh, Cunnilingus. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with just that. Do it. <laughs> just do it, dudes. <laughs> I swear on you guys, you guys, yeah, you are so British, more British than you actually know. Because, <laughs> right? Because over oh, here, right, we've got a program over here called Very British Problems, okay? And we, for for once, we actually take the piss out of ourselves. We're too serious. But for once, we actually do it. And one of our things is, especially with guys, is but we take the piss off the closest friend that we have and that's the that's the banter that's the thing we do we only do it with the closest people we know we just take the take the piss we just say yeah dude you're, you know you suck a dick and they're just like yeah, your mom sucks a dick and then we're all laughing at the end that's, that's, really? that's, that's, I would punch I would punch a motherfucker in the face if he told my mother to suck a dick but that's what I mean it's a British thing man like that's how we that's how we get down with our I don't care if it's a British thing <laughs> I would hey listen punch, man <laughs> My, my favorite oh, okay. tag team of all time is the British Bulldogs, okay? I love the rain. My favorite band of all time is Sting and the Police. Well, r- besides Rage Against the Machine. Sting <laughs> and the Police. I love the Prodigy. Um, I love English Bulldogs. It's my favorite dog. Um, you I like love English Eng- muffins? I love I, English I, muffins. I, I love, I love gorgeous English up. women. I like English muffins. <laughs> I, I love the English people, man. You know, I, I feel like I'm a de facto English guy over here. And thank you for, thank you for solidifying that. that, that now I can walk around with a, with, you know how they, they say you got the nigga card over here in the United States. <laughs> yeah. so now, now I got my British card. Thank you, Tenny. I appreciate that. That's all good. That's all good. Um, so thank the British people, as you can see, I have me an English bulldog right here. I ate me an uh, English muffin. Uh, you know, I had some puppets. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I don't know what you sound like because you don't sound English. Like I hate carnies. <laughs> Everyone thinks we sound like 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 that, but we actually we don't sound nothing like that. <laughs> you, you, no, 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 number one, let me. Let, I used to no, sound like Clancy and Snancy and Snar. You, you know what you sound like? You sound like every single <laughs> person. No, you sound you sound like you know the old uh, Jesus Christ movies that. Like, <laughs> Je- for some reason, Jesus Christ spoke like this. What the hell? I have no idea why Jesus Christ speaks with a slight British accent. It is re- freaking ridiculous, and that's oh, how you sound. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Like, yeah, we don't sound nothing May like... I have another? <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, right. So you guys didn't watch NXT, but let me let me um give you a rundown of what shit went down. Um, The mighty... Don't nail. Yeah. <laughs> the mighty don't nail made their debut finally. Months and months and months. I've been telling Segheads. The mighty don't nail need to come over to NXT. 
WWE need to find these guys and sign them from Pro Wrestling Noah. And that's exactly what they did. Um, and dude, these guys are good and ready to go. They had an amazing opening match with um, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. Need to check that shit out. This guy, these guys blew the roof off. It was an amazing match. And for their debut, they did fucking amazing. Um, so props to them. Ciampa and Gargano won. It looks like um, Gargano and Ciampa will probably be a future... Um, uh, future opponents of American Alpha. Um, NXT are trying to build up tag teams at the moment. Um, I think they signed two Indian guys a while back, and these guys are going by the names of um, the authors of Destruction. The Bollywood Boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, no not the Bollywood Boys. No, no, boys? Not the Bollywood Boys. No, 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 no. That would have no, been no. awesome. I love the Bollywood <laughs> boys. boys. Are we talking like GFW Bollywood Boys? Yes, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> the Bollywood uh, Lions. They call uh, them. Yo, those dudes. Are for... All right, fine. They can't wrestle. They can't wrestle to save their souls. But, but they, they are hilarious. So they, they are they, so funny. They signed a guy called like Lovepreet Singh or something. He's like a Kabaddi, national Kabaddi championship. If you guys want to know about some crazy sport, what type in Google and watch and, and say Indian Kabaddi championships. I'm telling you, it is fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. Anyway, they signed these two guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is that? What do they do? It's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. You need well, to. Can you it. try? I can't. I can't. I can't. It. What, 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 they, what do they beat each other with hot mops or something? <laughs> uh, it's like it's almost like a style of like American football mixed with rugby. It's weird. They've got these lines, and they need to get past these lines. There's one person um, trying to get to this line, and you're like circled around by like eight people, and you've got to try and get to this line and get back. It's crazy. You see guys doing fucking body slams and shit on this ground. It's crazy. You need to watch it. No wonder they signed this guy. He's a Kabaddi champion. You need to watch this shit. It's crazy. Um, anywho, they're trying to do tag teams at the moment, which is great. No Way Jose, 8-Track Brown, please give me your thoughts on this Canuck. Uh, <laughs> he, is a, he is a fucking Canuck. We, we've, we've got a brown guy. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's have him dance. We, we, they're very musical people, aren't they? You know, uh, I, 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 I've seen No Way Jose like twice. And um, the heck happened here? Did my computer freeze? You're, you're, good, still there, you're good, man. You're okay. good. All right, I saw I saw no no way Jose like twice. Um, I was like, they can't be serious. What are they doing here? Um, it, typical, you know, stereotypical character dancing and being a goof. Um, I, I really don't know what to say about it. it. I just shook my head at it to be honest with you. Yeah. And um, I. I I don't it's understand. It, shit, you're looking for we, No, I'm seeing. Yeah, you're right. I am. We can't. It's gotten to the point that be be you Afro-American or Afro-Latino, you're not going to be taken seriously in this sport. The guy's it's just throwing a happen. fucking pitch punch. He's throwing a pitch punch. What's that all about? <laughs> like, who's he, Jose Bautista? Yeah, like, he's trying to... This is the first Dominican wrestler I've ever seen, and they're, and they're treating him like a freaking goofball. <laughs> <laughs> what if the Dominicans play baseball? I think it's it's that's that's just the common knowledge, right? So the guy pitches because Dominicans play baseball really well, and Dominicans dance really well, so he has to dance. It seems very very logical to me. That's the way I would book this guy. No way Jose comes out, you know, he <laughs> dances. The people love him, you know. It's, it's fun. <laughs> The thing is, regardless of this shit, yeah, he is, he is, no matter of this shit, he is fucking over. When you watch NXT and the, the latest episode, this the crowd is going nuts. But yeah, time on, time on. He's, he's, he's over, he's over, but he's going to be over just like Adam Rose was yeah. over. Mm -hmm. He's going to be over just like just like those freaking idiots that from the 1920s over. You know, he, he's, <laughs> he's going he's to be over like fucking Emma was over. Remember Emma? Do, yeah. do, 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 do. How over was she? And she came to the WWE roster, and people are going to look at this guy like, what is this fucking nigger doing <laughs> tap Jesus dancing? Christ. On no, I'm telling you, this this is this is what they're gonna say because this is what's gonna happen. They're gonna go to West Bubble, fuck Kentucky, and that's the that's the that's the terminology they're gonna use. They're gonna say that. What is that nigger doing dancing in the ring? Where's our truth? Is he our truth's cousin? That's what they're gonna say. Is he part of the New Day? It's the same shit. It pisses me off so. Oh, but I'm I know. So angry. Hey, hey, Big Ray, I know when that motherfucking song plays you are dancing like a song. no i'm it's not i swear to god i am not no i'm not no, i'm not this dancing. is savagery <laughs> okay i'm watching i'm watching this uh kabaddi punjab <laughs> i told you didn't first I? of all all these dudes got the bodies of rusev number one wow uh, yeah number two they're all they don't have on any shoes <laughs> <laughs> this is insane <laughs> 
Big, is, Big Ray is right in the shit right now. He's like, I need to see this shit. I, I have a brand shit. new respect for the Indian and Pakistani people. Yo. He's more he's more outraged that they don't have any shoes. He's like, they're not wearing any shoes. How, <laughs> how the hell do they operate? <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's go on to... They're out there in <laughs> wet grass just beating the living hell out of each other. No, no, no. See, you're looking at the old school shit. They, they fucking made... They brought that shit forward. They modernized that shit, and they're playing in a stadium now. Like, yeah, how, do you, to... how do you how do you modernize right. running around a field hitting each other with hot mops? They're it's... wearing shoes now. That's the difference. They put on some shoes. They're right, in the right, right in National Kabaddi Championships 2015, you'll see. Anyway, let's go on to... to the, the recent episode of NXT, there was a promo for La Sombra, a.k.a. Andrade Cien Almas. That's his name, okay? That's an awesome name. That's his I take that name. Anyway, guys, wait, 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 what's the name? What's the name? Andrade, Andrade Cien Almas. Cien Almas meaning uh, 100, 100 souls. 100, 100 yeah. Souls, yeah. That, that, um, that's an awesome freaking name. The, promo, I think. the video promo was nuts. The guy was there. He was watching Old School Lucha Libre. He had his mask on, um, watching Old School Lucha Libre. Um, and then basically slowly taking his mask off, saying basically, here's homage to the old school time, but it's now time to modernize. He takes his mask off. Um, you just see behind him, holds the mask up to his face, looks at the mask and... Bam, it just done, and it just says, Andrade Cien Almas. Um, I was watching Lucha Underground one night. I have an idea. Because <laughs> that's exactly that's exactly what it is. It's, well, it's, he, just, it's, he just sold me on it. Like, I, I'm watching NXT as, as soon as we get done with this. He just sold me on it. First of all, I'm a, I'm a big fan of La Sombra. He was, a, he was probably CMLL's biggest star mm -hmm. up until he got, uh, uh, um, you know, called up to the WWE. Let's call it that way. Um, I'm very, very interested. This dude could be the future of the cruiserweight division because that's what they want to do now, that there's a brand split. They're going to actually have a cruiserweight division. This is what I'm hearing. And they're going to have a belt for it and the whole deal. And the WWE has never been successful at, at doing anything like this. This guy right here, La Sombra, is no joke. Uh, Cien Almas is an excellent name. I hope he came up with it and not creative just to give him more props. That's an excellent name. If I was him, if I was them, I'd keep him under a mask, but they're not going to do that. Um, regardless of that, he can be the future if he's booked properly. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I, I don't know about his promo skills. I, I really don't, but he can be the, the future if he's booked properly. Yeah, I'm just it's, saying that. It's, it's, it's going to be a great... Um, it's going to be great to see what happens with that because obviously with uh, and it, with SmackDown and Raw, you know, splitting and stuff, they're going to be carrying so much people up to the main roster. A guy like him and obviously a returning Hideo Itami is going to be important to NXT. Um, so, yeah, he's been on house shows, um, NXT house shows, bloody going on crazy. And it's just, it's just a matter of time, you know, before they put him on TV. So I'm glad that now they're doing it. Fucking throwing out um, No Way Jose when you've got a man like fucking La Sombra, a former N um, New Japan Pro Wrestling IWGP fucking Intercontinental Champion. Don't, you know what I mean? You just got him there. Fucking, and so I'm just glad he's here. Also on this episode, we have Austin Aries coming out, busting a really good promo, kind of heelish, kind of heelish, um, uh, talking about going after the NXT Championship. All of a sudden, we have um, Nakamura. I actually Nakamura. saw that promo. I'm, I'm sorry, when, when, you, when you did that, kind of heelish, you kind of reminded me, you reminded me of, uh, you got a couple of haters, haters? here. A couple that's haters. what I was going for. Haters. That's what I was going for. Haters. Haters. Couple haters. Couple of haters. Couple of haters. Um, <laughs> love that dude, yeah. man. We, uh, we have... Zero dimes, zero dimes. <laughs> he's so good. He's he's so good, man. I I just, I, I, I'm sorry to change subject, but I, I just I just fear that WWE is just gonna handcuff him on the mic a little more, and he's just gonna fucking fade away, uh, become a comedy oh. down the line. Well, I mean, I think that's what... crazy. A fugazi. I think the WWE actually lets him run because creative isn't that good to come up with lines like that. Uh, uh, I think they let him do what what, uh, what he wants to do when he's talking. And I also think when he's not around, he's writing it for, for Kaz. Oh, Kaz yes. Absolutely. There, Kaz comes out there and he, uh, and first off, all credit to Kaz because he can actually deliver the lines. You give these lines to Roman Reigns, he, he'll get booed hold out on, the building. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I'm sorry. I know we're going off topic. But is it just, am I the only fucking person on this earth that thinks that Big Cass is fucking not great on the mic? It he's seems. Not, he's not, he he's a, not. He's not, but he held his own while, while, oh, while Enzo that. was gone. I, I, I agree. He's holding his own. But but if you look at him, watch the watch back the shows. It looks like he's staring into midair and he's, he's trying to remember his freaking lines. Yeah, he's but a, it's, he's, it's, a meathead. he's a smart meathead, but he's a meathead. It's, it's working <laughs> for him right now. It's not going to work in the long term. But I, I, I don't know if you guys remember. I, I, we we did this whole thing with Kaz, and, and I was like, this dude ain't ain't that dude. He's not gonna he's not gonna make it. And that that was. Who's talking about Kazarian? 
Yeah, that too. Uh, that was because I didn't think um, I didn't think he could cut a promo. You know what I mean? And that's and but I, I think if if he's if he's molded properly and given the right like like I know I know Enzo wrote this shit for him and he was yeah. like he is safe. And he still said it like when he was on on the pre-show when he was like pizza, how you doing? Mm. Now that was funny, mm. you know that, that 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 was funny. So he he's not he's not great on the mic. I'll grant you that, but he's not completely awful either. Anyway, go ahead. He's right, better than Roman. Let's go back on track. Let's go back on track. Let's go back to Austin Aries and uh, uh, I out. Like, come on. Hey, no, that's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, man. <laughs> it's, uh, Austin Aries call, um, saying he's going to be the NXT champion, and then out comes Nakamura. The crowd absolutely lost their shit. Nakamura comes out, and he speak, He starts speaking in Japanese, and he's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You don't yeah. understand Japanese. <laughs> he's like, you don't understand me. Me either. <laughs> he goes, that you don't was under- bad funny when he said that. <laughs> you don't understand Japanese. Austin Aries says, I don't understand you. Nakamura says, yeah, me neither. I don't, yeah, understand. Me neither. I don't understand myself. <laughs> Basically saying that the NXT Championship is coming to King of Strong Style. Crowd go crazy. William Regal awesome. comes out. Fucking... Basically, start saying, "Oh, you, you know, busting a nut over these two gonna fight." So, yeah, these guys are gonna fight. Yeah, keep that face, keep that face, big Ray. They, they can't see that. That's what he said. <laughs> I was like, "What?" So it's gonna be, it's gonna be Nakamura against Austin Aries, which is great. Um, and then we finished out the show with a triple threat match: Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss and Carmella facing off to be the number one contender against um, against the uh, um, Asuka. So, yeah, big Ray. No, I'm trying to get Billy Ray's attention. Billy Ray. What's up? <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate it. He, he just wanted to flip the bird. <laughs> oh, did they, did they call that? Did they, did they call it flip, flipping the bird over there in, the in England, in London? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> how, far, how far far from London do you live? Uh, I live about 100 and, 140 miles away from. Ah, that's correct. You live in the hood. I live in the hood. I live in the ghetto. <laughs> so, 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 what is what is what exactly is the ghetto over there in, in it's, England? It's like Liverpool, pal. Yeah, <laughs> the ghetto is not. It's the ghetto over here is not not like a ghetto over in in America. Ghetto in America is fucking ghetto. Like over here, you know, ghetto over here, you're still fucking living. You know what I mean? You ain't seeing no dudes out on the street. Like, you know what I mean? So, it's no comparison. No comparison. You have the wrong impression of America. <laughs> hey dude, hey dude, you have you have a sweet Sunday Segway T-shirt over your shoulder. Where, where, where can you get one of those things? Damn. Hey, you can get them. They cost um fifteen pounds. Um, and that will obviously convert to some, I think, ten dollars or something. Um, eight dollars in America. We do it through PayPal. So we're gonna order um the next batch. So when I order the next batch, you guys can get yourself one. Um, yeah. I can speak in that accent as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go to the last break, and then we'll Remember be back. Remember, Alex Jones. <laughs> with with Shook, with Shook Sonner's Segway Time Machine um, and also 8-Trap Brown's going to be running the, the 10 count so don't you miss it there's only one wrestling podcast that gives you honest uncut opinions and the most unique trivia since WWE did the weakest link <laughs> and the only place you can hear the show stealing podcast promo every single week <laughs> covering WWE TNA Ring of Honor, Lucha Underground. Max Wrestling Podcast is the place for you. Join myself, Evan Money McKayla, The Phoenix, and Butcher. Sundays at 7 p.m. UK time, 2 p.m. Eastern time with your host, Daddy Big Juice on VOC Nation and the Swerve Talk Network. Go to maxwrestling.wix.com slash maxwrestling or follow us at Max Wrestling UK for more details. Give it to the man. <laughs> All right, we're back, people. Last part of the Sunday Saturday Wrestling Podcast. Here we go. Well, you should know Skinny Killer also out here with the Big Slam Nation cats. Um, so we're going to do the last part now. Um, Shook Stunners are going to give each one of you the chance um, to uh, run with that. So uh, move of the week. Oh, actually, jobber of the week, Billy Ray. Billy Ray, give me the jobber of the week. Uh, jobber of the week. Let's thank. Uh, oh, my man Callisto. Jesus is. Christ. Calisto, I mean, how cool. bad is he getting his ass whooped? I mean, it's it's uh it's warranted, but come on, good lord, D. He got his back snapped twice <laughs> this week. <laughs> Big it's... Ray, move of the week. Move of the week. SmackDown and Raw brand split. There you go. Brand split. Okay. Eight. Wait, can I can I can I give you a jobber of the week real quick? Go go for it. Adam Rose. 
Oh shit, you dropped out, Adam Rose. Um, all right, eight track. You get the um, you get wrestler of the week. Who gets wrestler of the week? Drew Galloway. Nah, fuck oh. that shit. Nah, <laughs> WWE. WWE. I don't. I, I, I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I don't watch WWE. Oh, that was good. <laughs> no, uh, since, since I have to go with WWE, uh, The Miz. Okay. Yes, okay. that's a I'm good, that's a really yeah. good one. And Jobber of the Week, I'm going with AJ Styles. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Make an argument I'm sorry. Then. Yeah, You're listen, Billy Ray, you weren't right in when you came on the show a couple of weeks ago, and oh, when we were on your show, sorry, and you said that if only 8 Track Brown was on there and Professor, those guys will be saying the complete opposite to what we were saying, and this is exactly what is going down right now. Complete opposite. <laughs> um, anywho, all right, it's time for Segway Time Machine. Okay, so Segway Time Machine, it is May the 27th, so let's see what happened today in the wrestling world. We have Rob Van Dam winning the WWE Intercontinental title. We have not only Steven Richards, but Terry Reynolds winning the WWE Hardcore title. Uh, we also have... Uh, what else do we have? We have... Uh, WWE, WCW had a Slim Jim challenge. Slim Jim challenge in 1995. Fucking hell. What the hell was a Slim Jim challenge? Like you had to eat fucking Slim Jims without diarrhea your your underwear or some shit? Yeah, must be. Must macho, be. Man. And, um, <laughs> no, well, Paul Orndorfer won it. So, psh, Mr. Wonderful. Don't know why. Jeez. What? Anyway, let's see what happened in the Monday Night Wars 1996. Um, Monday Night Raw, episode 160. What do you reckon the rating was, uh, Billy Ray? The rating. Uh, 1996. Yeah. For 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 what? For raw. Or for for raw. For raw, a 3.2. Ooh, man, that was nice. It's a 3.3. Uh, and this is what happened on that show. Uh, we had oh wow, it was King of the Ring qualifier match. We had Gold Dust versus Ultimate Warrior that ended in a double count out. <laughs> we had the Smoking Guns defeating the Body Donners, and uh, the main event uh of the King of the Ring qualifier match, we had Vader defeating Ahmed Johnson. Um, right now, on the flip side, um, eight track brown. What do you reckon the rating was for Nitro episode th- 37, 1996? Uh, so I wouldn't even be able to tell you, brother. <laughs> uh, eight track, eight track brown has to do a little bit more research to, to look in there, okay. but you know what? And a so, hold, 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 hold on, eight a- track brown. This is a fucking it's guessing guess. game. It's a guess, man. Take a it's guess, a guess. Dumbass. take a Jesus. guess, you I was, douche. I was just, I, before you interrupted me, I said, shot in the dark. <laughs> Let me hear that raw rating again. Uh, the raw one was 3.3. 3.3, I'm going with uh, 3.5. It was a 2.8. Oh, oh man. 2.8. And this is, and this, wins the Slim Jim <laughs> challenge. <laughs> challenge. It should have it should have went off in my mind that this was pre NWO. Well, this my is why this is the card. We had four horsemen, um, Arn Anderson and Ric Flair defeating the American ro- uh, males. Marcus Alexander Bagwell, the Scottish American, American males. American males. The That's my jam. <laughs> song of all time. We had Mike Enos, um, versus Steve Dole. I don't know Rest who that peace, is. Enos. Jeez. Rest in peace, um, me, Mike Enos. Mike Enos. Enos, Mike Enos was a very under, underrated, underutilized talent. Agreed. Uh, I, I remember I uh, used to always discuss this with uh, Billy Ray in high school that they could have pushed this dude and he could have been WCW's Stone Cold, in my opinion, because he had a swagger about him. He was good. That, that was that was really good, that, that he had charisma, but they never really did anything with him. They could have at the very least turned him into Stan Hansen. Go ahead, Kenny. Yeah, yeah, sure. but, yeah. No, 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 but it's the a- only... Isn't Mike what? Enos one of the Beverly Brothers? He he looks like one of them. I don't know. Not as you mentioned. It. <laughs> I mean, you know what? He could have been. He is. He was. He is. He is. He's blue yeah, he, yeah. Was, he, was, only, he was. The only problem was that 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 at that time at the point in juncture, um, WCW couldn't push somebody using the gimmick name Penis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. But I tell you what, Beverly Brothers. That theme song. Yeah, I like that. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Enos was yeah. one of the Beverly Brothers. You're, yeah, yeah it's, absolutely it's, right. Mike, who's Mike Enos? <laughs> it was Mike Enos. <laughs> uh, we also had um, Diamond Dallas Page defeating Sergeant Craig Pittman. We had the Giant defeating the Shark in a World Heavyweight Title match. Yeah, John oh, Tenta. Oh, the, the Shark. Uh, that's a, that's an earthquake, right? Yeah, John yeah. Tenta. Yeah, yeah, Golga. 
Um, <laughs> we also had um, Lex Luger defeating Max Muscle in um, WCW television title match. Bob Walker defeating Brad Armstrong. Stephen Regal, Lord Stephen Regal, defeating Alex Wright. Love the dancing fool. Fucking love that shit. Uh, uh, yeah. That's one uh, <laughs> <laughs> that Love that. Didn't they turn him into like a racist German skinhead yeah, vampire? Yeah, something like that. Berlin. <laughs> Berlin. Which, in my opinion, wasn't a bad gimmick either. We got the wall out of that. So <laughs> I'm missing. Don't, the, hold on, hold on. I'm missing the best two. thing. The best thing about that was that he was definitely. Um, you saw the, the 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 early male pattern baldness developing. So they just took the hair off and uh, they made him into a skinhead. That was pretty pretty and smart he, in their part. He should have been pushed after he looked into that camera and said, "Sean Michaels, eat your heart out." <laughs> I couldn't believe he said that. I was like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" All right, the main event of that Nitro was Scott Steiner and Sting went to a double disqualification. They probably beat the, beat the shit out of each other. All right, guys. Um, now we're going to go the final segment of the show, the 10 count, 8 track brown. So let me explain to you what happens. You have 10 seconds, okay, to give as many answers to a chosen ca- category, okay? I'm going to give you three um, choices, A, B, or C. You have 10 seconds to give as many. <laughs> Billy Ray's laughing because he knows nice. he's run that shit. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. Billy Ray's run that shit as well. All right, cool. So Yeah, last time I got 11. Yeah, I know you got that. You didn't get 11, you're fucking lying. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you calling them? Uh, you damn <laughs> limey. Yeah, you're wanker. <laughs> you're wanker. Um, all right, so you got ca- uh, category A, B, A, B, or C? B. Pick a, B. All right, B. All right, B. We have WWE Women's Champions. Okay, so that's Diva and Women's, all right? So you have 10 seconds to name as many WWE Women's Divas or WWE Champions in three, two, one, go. Alundra Blaze, Boom. Trish Stratus, Boom. Mickey James. Boom. Uh, 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 fuck. What the hell is that chick's name? Uh, Ch- uh, Lita. Uh, Boom. uh, uh China. Boom. Uh, Done. Uh, ter- Done. <laughs> Done. You Done. Suck. Man, you, got you suck. You suck. Get Lita's name because I was stuck on Lita. Question, question. Can, 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 let's can go we? Get, let's go get, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's can, go get. Can we each get a chance to run this? No, man, you, it's man, only had for, your, You've yeah, had your chance, man. It's only debutants. It's Number only for one. first time people, man. We got to stick to. I'm, I'm gonna stick to it, but let me tell you something. The time that I ran the ten. I was out all freaking night having sexual intercourse. I was drunk and I was up with only three hours sleep with my son running around the damn living room. You'll get a second chance. Uh, Don't worry. You'll get a second chance, but it's all debutantes. Anyway, that's the end of the show, people, and what a show it was. I'm going to give these cats a chance to obviously... um, let people know when uh, Big Slam Nation is and where they can find that. Also, um, the new show that Big Ray's running as well. Um, so first of all, Billy Ray, let the people know where they can find Big Slam Nation and yourself on the Twitter. Hey, man, of course you can find Big Slam Nation over at OneWrestling.com, One Wrestling YouTube uh, uh, channel. That's uh, One Wrestling Video. Um, you can go look us up there. Also, um, check out the PW Hustle. You know what I mean? Uh, we, we we get down at least once every two weeks and talk nonsense, no structure, just like we kind of hijacked Kenny's show. I, 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 I apologize, Kenny. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you know, take this T-shirt. T-shirt brown. Take this T-shirt down. <laughs> <laughs> the Professor Anthony Quintana, Big Ray, Fame Black, all of us over at OneWrestling.com. Bill Skyler, you know, um, feel better. Okay, Fame. You know, I got to say what's up to him. Uh, come check us out, man. You know, and Kenny Killer. And of course, the, the the marvelous Tom Brady. Mm-hmm. You know what's up? He's no he's shady. fucking good at football. That guy. No shady, no shady. Yeah. Tom Brady. <laughs> good at right. football. Big Ray, let the people know where they can find um your new show, and they can find you on the Twitter. Well, I'm not going to cover the OneWrestling.com stuff because Billy Ray Valentine pretty much did that. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have a new podcast out with my good friend Mimi Shells. So you can follow her on Twitter at I am Mimi Shells. She's a wrestling chick featuring OK Fabe. Yesterday, we had a great episode. I wasn't actually on the episode. We had Billy Ray Valentine uh, filling in for me yesterday when I was while I was getting some booty last night. So um, we had Billy Ray Valentine filling in for me. And now, also, check this out. I'm going to put over a non wrestling podcast i have a very good friend i literally grew up with this guy name is chris cologne chris cologne look up two strangers one podcast now if you if you're into video games if you're into comic books if you're into superheroes if you're into that geeky type of shit like like my man paul phoenix aka a track brown aka travis aka god guy has more names than anyone i've ever met in my life um 
check it out. I think, Travis, I think you would actually absolutely love my boy's podcast. He has all the geeks on, all the, uh, he's, he's written a book. I mean, again, Carlos, uh, Carlos Colon. <laughs> Carlos Colon. <laughs> Carlos Colon. Chris <laughs> Colon. <laughs> look, look for Chris Colon. I believe his Twitter handle is at XL. NYC, yes, as at XLNYC. And again, it's two strangers, one podcast. And again, I'm also on WrestleZone every Wednesday, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I think that's everything. A track. Okay, A track. Yeah, let the people know where they can find you, please. You can find me uh, up in your chick. Um, nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, reach, you can reach me at uh, Faro Fancy. That's my Twitter. The PW Hustle <laughs> Facebook group page. Uh, join it. It is uh, deliberately made to piss off people because it's a non-PC page. Say what you want. Just don't threaten anybody's life. As a matter of fact, threaten somebody's life. What else? Don't threaten anybody. If you want to go to jail, that's on you. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. The PW Hustle YouTube channel, as as Billy Ray said, um, you know, so shout outs to everybody. The Professor, Crooked Tunes, Pat O'Neill, T.L. Kupana, all y'all. Y'all awesome. My man, Kenny the Killer. Kenny Killer. Ken Kniff from Connecticut. <laughs> Kenny Cobra. Whatever you want to call him. Ken Kniff from Connecticut. <laughs> Ken Kniff. Oh, my days. Uh, Tech Heads, this has been amazing. Obviously, you can follow us at Sunday Segways. Segways by S-E-G-U-E. You can follow me at Kenny Killer. K-I-L-L-A. Next week... Um, I'm, I'm sure we should have the professor at Equantana on the show next week. Um, should be joined by Shugs also. Make sure you check us out on the flip side. That's right. It is none other than Sunday Segway TV episode 17 with me and the No Shady Tom Brady running through the best of the Super Juniors. Day one, day two, day three, day four, and day five. And we're going to do the updated table, obviously. So make sure you check us out there. And if you don't like that, you can choke on that slap nuts. Woo! And if there's anybody from New Japan watching, stop it with the first person camera view. <laughs> Damn. Uh-huh. Makes it hard to watch. I can't watch that shit. <laughs>